Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 63. Today we are continuing our training on the KW Command app, and we're going to dive into contacts and contact-related items inside of the app. And this is really where the app shines in many ways, in the fact that you can manage your database, add to your database, knock out lead generation activities from your database, all from the palm of your hand using your iPhone or Android and the KW Command app. So we are back on our KW Command app home screen. First thing I wanna show you is that who to contact section, the second section down, there are five tiles there and you can see we've got leads never contacted, tour requests, client inquiries, recently active and most active. I'm gonna start off by clicking on leads never contacted. You can see we've got the number five there. And if we click on that tile, it actually brings up five contacts that are in our database that we have not yet contacted. And now if you'll recall, we actually created many of these contacts when we were going through some of our consumer-based day challenges, when we were looking at the valuation tool and the um, mortgage calculator, some of those other things. So we never actually reached out to any of these contacts and Command knows that. So we could click on any one of these five contacts and actually open up the contact record and begin to work through that actual contact. We could consider emailing them, texting them, calling them, et cetera. That can all be done using that filter. If we go back to the home screen, we've got tour requests and client inquiries. Those are both grayed out because we don't have anyone that has requested any information about any of the properties on our agent sites. And yet if they had, we would be able to click on those two tiles. Recently active, also available to click on, and I can do that. It says last 72 hours, but it'll actually pull anyone that has been recently active on your site and then show you those in order. So you can see it's that same list of five contacts that were all active on our agent site because I believe all of these were created when we had the home valuation tool day challenge. So they were active on our site, our new agent site, and they filled out the information on the home valuation tool. If you didn't see that challenge, that is day 57. Going back to the home screen, we've got a brand new, as of yesterday, filter on the command app. That one is most active. So if we click on most active, now we're gonna get zero. It looks like you don't have any active contacts. But this would pull contacts that had been actively searching for properties, interacting, looking at neighborhoods, doing all things KW Consumer App or KW Consumer Site. This is a fantastic tool if you're not just looking for the one that's been most recently active, but just most active in general. This would pull up a list of contacts that you would be able to see and then you could choose to reach out to them and begin additional lead generation as well. So um, unfortunately, we don't have anyone most active yet, uh, but that's a great filter for you to go check out on your KW Consumer app and see who those contacts are that might, if you have a very limited amount of time, deserve a call or a text, reach out to the ones that matter that have really been engaging with your consumer activities there. Finally, at the bottom, we do have birthdays and anniversaries. Just wanted to show you if you click on those two tiles. If I click on the birthday tile, it's gonna show me that I have two contacts with birthdays that are coming up in the next 30 days. Now we know these are all fake contacts that we've created of fictional characters, but we can see that Sheldon Cooper has a fictional birthday coming up in a couple of weeks, February 26th, and then Monica Geller has a birthday on March 1st. So you could reach out, you could schedule tasks, you could add to a birthday smart plan, lots of opportunities for those contacts as well. So let's go back to the home screen and then I'm gonna click on contacts at the very bottom. It's the second icon over and I am going to scroll on the top. You can see our smart view is still active from birthday, but the very top of the screen, just below the word contacts, you can see we've got sort of a menu that we can scroll left and right with five different options. I'm gonna click on all and it's gonna show me my entire database. So here's all 19 of our fictional characters that we have in this database. And we could scroll through and look at any one of these contacts. Let's just start off with Balky. I can open up Balky's contact record and I can begin to immediately see opportunity. 
So first, if Balki and I have met, we've had two-way conversation, Balki is a contact, but I could choose if it's still just one-way conversation to mark Balki as a lead. So you can see that opportunity there. I can see the last time I've contacted Balki. I can add or remove tags from the command app. I can also see his email, address, lead source, all of that information available if I've added or removed him to a neighborhood. Maybe he calls me real quick and said, hey, I love that email you sent me about Lincoln Square. Could you add a couple more neighborhoods real quick? I don't have to write that down on a post-it note or a napkin and then pray that I get that back to my desktop and add them to those neighborhoods. I can actually add or remove neighborhoods from the app as well. Finally, if we scroll down a little bit further, I can see Balki's legal name and birthday inside the contact record as well. Now at the top, I showed you the there are a menu on our last screen. There's also a menu on the individual contact screen. And we can see that scrolling left and right at the very top of the screen. I can choose to click on timeline. This is where I would see by default any timeline events found in the last seven days. However, you can see towards the top right, there is a filter that I can change. It says last seven. And if I click on that, I can choose to see activity at just today within the last seven. 30 or 90 days, or I can choose all, and I would see all of the timeline information. You can see the information from when Balki was actually imported, and we haven't really done much since with Balki, but you could see all of that information. Now, if Balki was a buyer or a seller, I could click on opportunities, see any opportunities that he was linked to, perhaps even a landlord or a tenant, any one of those opportunities would show up. I can click on smart plans and I can actually add Balki to a smart plan from the app. So we know we have a fake, but we have an email address for Balki. We've got a neighborhood assigned, so I could even click on the plus sign and I could come in and say, hey, you know what? Let's add Balki to the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. You can see that's the second to last one. I'm going to click on that smart plan. You can see the smart plan there. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have read the TCPA disclaimer. I'll click that checkbox and then I could click on confirm and boom just like that Valky has been added to the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan you can see there at the bottom of the screen it said hey this may take a second pull down to refresh so I'm just going to slide my finger down on the screen and it should refresh shortly and show that Valky has been added to that monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan I can also click on notes and you can see any notes that you've added Finally, I could click on tasks and see any tasks that had been added as well. So that's all at the very top of the screen. I do have an ellipses menu at the very top right hand corner, just below my 87% charged battery. If I click on that three dots there, this is a really cool option. Sometimes you have contacts that are in your KW command database. Maybe they came in as a new lead, they registered on your site, they filled out a form, but you don't actually have them in your phone. And you wanna save that contact to your phone so that if they ever call you, you know it's them calling. The second option down actually allows me to save contact to phone. I can click on that and you can see I'm using an iPhone. So it immediately brings up the ability to add this contact to my phone. I could choose a photo. I could add an additional number, email, all of the good things. The address comes in. If I just click on done in the top right hand corner, I have now added a new contact to my iPhone directly from my command app. So we've shown you in the past how to bring contacts in from your phone to command. Here's an easy way to bring contacts from command back to your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my contact record here. Mine is the only one in here with a phone number, but I did want to show you that since I have a phone number on my own contact, at the bottom, I have the ability to click on call, text, or email. And if I click on call, it's gonna pull up two options. Because I have WhatsApp installed on my phone, it would allow me to call using WhatsApp or actually use my native device. Now here's the cool thing, if I click on call, It'll say, do you want to call this number? I'll say, yep, I'm actually calling myself. I'm going to hang up on myself. But because I made a call, the command app actually recognizes that fact and says, hey, do you want to add the fact that you just called Marty to your activity timeline? And I can say, yeah, go ahead and add that activity. And then you can see from there, it by default knows it was a call, but I could change that interaction type if I wanted to. 
it knows that you made the call today and then it asks you hey what was the interaction outcome now there is no answer but I could choose left voicemail or I could choose we talked you can see I just clicked those three different radio buttons and then I can actually write in the description of what happens now even better with your phone at the bottom right hand corner do you see that microphone icon I can use talk to text called Marty and then hung up on him this is a demo for the KW Command 66 Day Challenge. And click on the microphone again, and now I've got a description of the note, the fact that I made a call and the date, I click on save, boom, just like that. If I go to the timeline, you can now see that that activity was logged. And 90 days from now, if I need to call myself again, I can remember what we talked about the last time we called. Finally, because I have a phone number on this contact record, I can also click on text and you can see using text, I can choose to text from my mobile device or WhatsApp. And on this demo account, we don't have Twilio connected. And yet if we had Twilio connected, you would have Twilio as an option as well. So you can actually text contacts from the command app using one of three options, your actual native device that would come from your phone number, Twilio coming from your business line, or WhatsApp coming from your native device phone number using the WhatsApp application. So those are things that we can do inside of the contact record. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm actually gonna log a task. This will play into tomorrow. So we're gonna do interaction. Oh, I don't wanna do an activity and I apologize. Let's go at the very top to tasks. And I'm just gonna remind myself to add a task. So I'm gonna click on the plus button in the bottom right hand corner and this is going to just be uh, call Marty uh, follow up okay so we're just going to add a task Marty didn't answer today I'm going to add a task to call him tomorrow so the task type is going to be a call type and didn't answer on 29 call back to 10 I could put a hyperlink, I could put in some priorities. We'll talk more about that tomorrow, but you can see by default, no priority, the due date is, and we want that due date tomorrow. And I'm gonna click on confirm. All right, so we'll click on save. Tomorrow, we're gonna dive into tasks. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to knock out call-based tasks using the KW Command app and the cool things that can happen when we do that. And we might even dive into some additional information available inside the app as well. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to connecting with you real soon.